my dear students today we shall discuss a very beautiful problem i think which was asked in 2011 neat okay so you just see here uh, if you want uh, me to explain any concept with a super simple logic okay then you can follow my channel you can just see how this problem is asked here now uh, nucleus is having mass m okay so this is a nucleus having mass m and after that uh, it emits a photon let us imagine it is going to emit a photon okay so when it emits a photon uh, it recoils back isn't it so just like a gun and bullet if a bullet comes out gun recoils back similarly when photon is released even the nucleus comes recoils back okay just like back side here so what is going to happen in this case let us see he is asking us to find out the recoil energy here how are you going to find out the recoil energy one thing it is clear that you know that kinetic energy written as p square by 2m isn't it kinetic energy he is asking us to find out the energy so i wrote uh, kinetic energy is equal to p square by 2m then here you all know Einstein said that energy is equal to mc square and Planck said that energy is equal to h nu that's it Planck said energy is equal to h nu Einstein said energy is equal to mc square make them equal now okay so what I am going to write now h nu is equal to mc square h nu is equal to mc square h nu is equal to mc okay you can just write now mc into c okay instead of writing mc square i'm writing mc into c what does it mean here what does it mean it is going to be pc it is going to be pc here okay so momentum and uh, c mass into velocity is nothing but momentum so i have written instead of mc or mv velocity of light uh, that is velocity of light or velocity of any body mass into velocity is given as momentum so i have written like this this implies that this implies that i can take a p is equal to h nu by c i am just considering p is equal to h nu by c that p is equal to h nu by c i am substituting here then you are getting the final answer here instead of p i am writing h nu by c h square nu square by 2m and c is also there so c square so what is going to be your answer you can just see here now h square nu square by 2m c square that is going to be c i mean b option is going to be a correct answer hope you have enjoyed this method of explanation